Prime Minister, just begin by asking you, in your speech, you spoke about taking this to court, taking this to the judiciary. Can you just explain to us why you feel that is necessary? I think it is necessary in the interest of justice in this country that this matter be heard in court. Because these are very weighty issues uh, which we are raising regarding the free fairness uh, uh, and, and, and justice uh, in these elections. Uh, but uh, there were a lot of irregularities. There's a lot of heavy rigging of these elections. So, I mean, you say there are irregularities in rigging. Can you give us some evidence of that? Yes, as you know, um, you had, for example, a parallel voter register produced, uh, I don't know by which authority, which had increased, inflated the number of registered voters in certain areas of the country. Secondly, that the voter uh, identification system electronically failed or it was sabotaged uh, and uh, therefore people went to vote manually and then the transmission of results was also sabotaged it was supposed to be done electronically that system also failed that allowed them to now go to manual um, uh, exercise and therefore tamper with a lot of results what is your message to your supporters, uh, Mr. Dinger? What do you say to them, to the people who may not want to wait for the court decision, who might want to take to the streets right now because of their frustration? Uh, I've actually I've made an appeal to my supporters and Kenyans in general to be tolerant to each other and to desist from any act of violence which uh, can bring too much destruction like we witnessed in 2008. Um, so I hope that they are going to listen to what I'm saying. Their patience have been tested to the limits over the last five years, uh, five days. And they have been waiting patiently for these results. So I hope that um, they are going to uh, uh, be understanding and patient until the due process is over. Uh, Prime Minister, uh, some would say that you should just have conceded now, that you should accept the decision of the IABC and you should just let Uhuru Kenyatta get on with the job of being president. See, that will defeat the purpose of having an election. Elections actually afford people opportunity to elect their leaders. And um, if I were just to concede defeat, then we will be setting a very dangerous precedence where in the future people will stand and they are beaten in elections, they don't, they don't want to concede defeat. Elections are rigged uh, and, and, and uh, other people are brought into power. That will actually erode the confidence of the people in the electoral process. And that's why I'm doing this as a matter of principle, in order that uh, this country can lay a firm foundation for a democratic electoral process. There has been a history of rivalry between your family and the Kenyatta's, which dates back to uh, both of your fathers. Would you say that history is repeating itself with rivalry once again uh, between you two? No, certainly not. Um, my father, as you know, fought very hard for the release of Kenyatta from the British political detention. Uh, then he became Kenyatta's uh, uh, deputy or vice president. They disagreed uh, ideologically uh, with Kenyatta and he resigned from the government and formed an opposition party. But that is over 40 years ago. Um, I have no problem with Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh, we've not disagreed um, ideologically. Um, as you know that he was actually brought into politics by the retired President Moy, who actually fronted him as uh, his successor 10 years ago and I supported Moe Kibaki. Um, then uh, we teamed up together with him in the campaign to reject a multilateral uh, constitution. So we have no personal grudges or differences between me and Uhuru Kenyatta. And just finally, if the Supreme Court says that the decision is upholded, that Uhuru Kenyatta is president, what will you do next? I will accept the, the ruling of the, the, the courts and um, there are several, many other things for me to do in the country. Uh, I can remain an, an, an elder statesman, 
I can be, um, I'm a businessman, I have business, I have got family, uh, but I also got a political party. So I will be able to serve my party in any other capacity. So there are lots of other things that I can gainfully do for this country.